How did the Saudi economy perform in 2010? The Saudi economy performed fairly well in uh, 2010. Uh, we expect a GDP growth of 3.7%, and that, I think, is a good performance given the uh, general conditions uh, around the world. Uh, we're also optimistic about uh, GDP growth in 2011. We think that the growth will be uh, around 4%. So again, we are expecting an improved conditions uh, for the economy overall. So growth ahead, but what are the economic challenges in the year to come? The economic challenges um, come from two parts. One part is the global health uh, of the uh, global economy. Uh, we are all uh, watching uh, the evolution of um, the issues related to sovereign debt, uh, the issues about currencies and the currency war, um, the um, difficulties in getting uh, the economy of the developed world to grow again. Domestically, the challenges would be to uh, manage the uh, execution of the development plans uh, and all the projects related to it. And there is a massive work underway to modernize the infrastructure, to invest in education, in health, uh, and so on in Saudi Arabia. One thing to watch for um, is inflation, for example. We have seen um, inflation edging up, and um, it will be um, a challenge if, in, if uh, inflation continues uh, to escalate in the coming years. But so far, it's been managed well, and uh, we don't consider it to be the uh, preemptive uh, challenge. So how has NCB performed in terms of domestic competition and internationally? 2010 was a good year for, uh, for us in NCB. We have been able to expand our core franchise. We have grown our market share in our key products and, and custom segments. Particularly, we have grown our uh, corporate loan activities. Uh, and I think that is an important element because it does help uh, in uh, executing these plans and supporting the economy. But it's also a very good business opportunity for us to be able to win a lot of these uh, finance mandates that uh, are associated with these projects. So it's a, it's a very good story. We're, we're very happy with it. How do you summarize your main achievements in the last year? We have grown our core franchise in our key uh, customer uh, segments and products. Uh, we have expanded our loan activities, uh, specifically focusing on project finance and, and project-related activities. We have also strengthened our governance and our risk management capabilities during these years and also our capital position. So I think that the story is twofold. One fold is the strength and the health of the, of the bank and the franchise, and that I can tell you it's in great health and we're in great shape. The other part is preparing ourselves for the future growth and creating the enablers that will allow us to continue to play uh, effectively in, in our market. And of course, NCB continues to play a leading role in the Islamic banking sector. Absolutely. Uh, we are very committed to Islamic banking. The bank has had a success story in building the retail franchise, which is uh, totally uh, Islamic uh, compliant. And we have been working hard to build our corporate and wholesale uh, Sharia compliant business. 2010 particularly has been a good year because most of the project finance transactions that we have done were Sharia compliant. And uh, we came in the number one position in the MENA region as the number one uh, project finance player and I think this is a very good story for us, which emphasizes, again, our commitment and leadership in Islamic banking and Islamic finance. Now, e-banking continues to grow apace, particularly amongst younger customers. What's been NCB's response to consumer demand? We look at our retail uh, business um, and specifically the channels uh, very meticulously because we believe that it's an important element of reaching our customers and providing with the, with the services. Uh, the electronic channels are increasingly becoming the main channels. Uh, so for example, today in NCB, 90% uh, of all of our transactions, customer transactions are done electronically. Just gives you a flavor of how dominant the electronic channels are. E-banking specifically is a, is a growth area and in, uh, certainly the channel of the future. And the bank has been investing uh, heavily in making sure that our offering is not only competitive, but it's also amongst the best in the sense of customer uh, ease of use, security, and also the features that are in it. But uh, you are right, given the demographics and the young uh, population that we have in the kingdom, this is uh, a channel that has uh, very significant growth potential. Sustainability is a, an issue for all major banks, including your own. And in this regard, your approach is summarized as 
people, profit, planet. We look at sustainability not as a buzzword, we look at it as a philosophy of driving and managing our business. So sustainability is very much integrated and institutionalized in NCB. Sustainability is the integrated management of economic, uh, social and environmental issues in an integrated system. Uh, and these uh, words, uh, people, profit, planet, actually is a simple way of demonstrating that our commitment is not only to our shareholders, but actually it, it is to all of our stakeholders, which includes our commitment to these segments. Finally, as a greater sense of optimism returns to the Saudi economy, what are your plans for the year ahead? We are ready and the bank is very liquid. The bank has a solid capital base to start with uh, and we are fully engaged in uh, working through our corporate and project management areas to uh, participate in financing uh, the growth and the needs of the economy. We see our retail business growing uh, at a nice uh, rate. Uh, but we believe that there is a lot more opportunities on the finance side, especially on the project uh, finance side and on the uh, corporate side. We also uh, are preparing ourselves to engage with our customers on the wealth management side once markets stabilize and, and customers' appetite uh, for investments uh, returns because we believe that there is an opportunity to grow wealth management uh, in the years to come as well. Abdul Karim Abu Al Nasser, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate this opportunity and thank you.